I'm going to get right into it. I just want to let you know, if you want to book a personal reading, please check out my website and see what I have available at the moment. Okay. So the first message I got when I saw this, because I want to dissect the first message, is this is a message from someone who is stable, who has money, who may not have come from money, but has found opportunities and been able to open many doors, um, or who, met, who many doors open for. But the funny thing is, with this card specifically, for my personal meaning, um, the beetle there. Now, there's a long story to go with it. I'm not going to talk about it. But for me, the beetle brings up, this may be someone who you have waited for from, let's just say, 3 to 13 years. Um, so there's been some time and there has this has been a process, okay? It's been a process is the best way to put it. So the other two cards that were, um, they were popping out like right here, like they wanted to come right off there. So was the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So I took them and once I looked at it, I realized because the Three of Swords is underneath that, um, that this person has come from a heartbreaking situation. This person has in some ways let go of love, um, given up on love, just kind of decided to go in a different direction, to go where maybe the money flows type of energy, um, to build their dreams, to go experience things, but really to avoid anything that may cause a heartache is the major message I get from this person. Now, Having the Wheel of Fortune present behind this energy is telling me that there will be a turn of events. Um, I do feel that this person may have let go or be in the process of letting go of the Three of Swords energy and regaining their power. So let's begin. We'll put those two cards aside. Put this up here as well. And see what this message is from this King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles energy. Um, you can be dealing with the Earth sign and a Water sign. But it's a King of Cups who's come out of a heartbreak or who's been heartbroken in the past, okay? And they're not sure about love with the Wheel of Fortune as well, right? So look at that, how that came out. We have the Emperor in reverse. There's been a loss of power for this person with them um, being so in their emotions. This person may have turned to a lot of alcohol, a lot of alcohol. This person may drink. Um, this person may have just done things that were trying to, because they were trying to escape. Um, I get this energy too of like adventurers, right? So I don't know if that resonates with someone. Um, could be something out in like the woods or in the mountains or just trying to escape. An escape artist is what I just heard. Oh gosh, okay. But the emperor in reverse is really um, someone who wants to be in power and may actually be in power, but there is some sort of either an emptiness or a sense of not having control or this may be someone who absolutely needs to always be in control. Um, and that may be something that they have gained from whatever heartache they've moved out of, right? So we have the justice over top of the Ten of Cups in reverse. Clearly, this person has gone through a divorce. This is what I am getting. This is a very strong, straight message. Um, this person may not be super rich. They may have also had to take some cuts with this divorce. I see that it was painful for this person, possibly going through depression. That could be when and where they decided to pick up drinking, which I do feel it's very possible they have relaxed on that if that's what they were um, turning to for substance, because I do see the next card is another nine where this person um, is making peace, okay? Now, I'm getting another message here as well. If this is your person dealing with this situation, you could almost be on two, oh my gosh, two frequency, two seven, I just can't believe what I'm seeing mixed together. Um, so you have two nines here and then you have two twos. And 
Like, look at that. So the message I'm getting here is you and this person may technically be on a bit of a different frequency at this time because they're living in this energy of releasing pain and sadness. And, you know, they're getting they're getting better. I do sense that. I feel like at least the swords are out of the body and away from the bed area. Um, this masculine energy looks like he's kind of finally resting. And we have this feminine energy here who is really good, right? And I sense that there's going to be some sort of a connection um, that happens for this person. And so if you're the person that's doing really good and you are feeling this reading, I feel not only like a reunion, but a connection. Now, I will say that this can be something short. This can be something quick. I'm not sure. But let's just see what else is going on with this message. What is this person? I'm not going to, I want to ask the full question. Um, but I do see this person has made peace and not, they're not fighting something anymore. So I do want to ask, um, let me just show that. So what does this King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Energy, I want to say someone who's been gone for a while, you know, there is something happening here. It could be a rebirth to a situation. And I only say that because uh, lizards can lose their tails and still grow another one. Um, so there can be, you know, something coming back to life. Um, with the wand, this may be a passionate connection like I mean what I'm getting is like a passionate moment with this person okay so there may be something I don't know let me why am I picking up that this energy that I can't explain that why am I picking that up okay so ten of swords in reverse so the reason I'm picking up this energy I can't fully explain and what it is is that there's a short-term energy here for this reconnection um, is because this person has gone through a lot ten of swords right would normally mean um, complete ending to situation leaving a situation like this ending is interesting because this person's actually walking away they're not dead right like most ten of swords there's some sort of swords in the body um, i will mention that there are two sorry one second okay that there are two people in the background of those 10 swords watching this person walking away i'll just mention that in case that's relevant for some of you but the reason i'm getting the energy that this isn't um long term and it's not that it's not long term but it's just that this person does still have um things to to go within and conquer could be a word there with the uh, hermit here and the ten of swords in reverse. So there are still there is still unfinished business within this person's um, own self. Okay, so that's why I get this vibe. Like I do feel like you guys are going to have this connection. Like oh my gosh, you know. And I'm looking at this card here to clarify it. I do feel oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what's on the bottom. Double cup energy. You have two two of cups and you have two ace of cups here. So I do definitely feel, look at, and there's more of a message here. I do feel that this person is going to come in. This card came out first um, and reconnect with you and tell you, I love you so much. Something like that, right? But then look at this card that was at the bottom. But this person's not done yet. You see the fish is jumping out of the cup now. There are still things this person has to heal in or from their past. Okay, so that's a really interesting message. We'll see if there's anything else that this person wants to say. So what I just got from there is I'm finding my truth. Um, but when I dissect the cards, I do see the page of wands walking away and what this person is walking away and I feel like going back you know going back to childhood or going back to realize why things why this person turned out to be in this situation you know they want to know why did it affect me so much and why have I let it control my whole life almost right um so this person is walking but there is a childhood energy here with the ten of pentacles literally having a child up in the front and center here this person has to go back and either look into some family issues that they still hold close to them or maybe look back 
um, at the situation they were in a divorce from or left or walked away from to really sort out why they allowed that to happen, why they allowed that to truly almost like just destroy them. But this person is on a search for their own truth. And you see how the owl or the hawk has um, the blinders on, right? Um, I just feel like there is still an energy of needing to figure things out and to see um, clearly what is going on. Okay, and we do have the Ace of Wands, or not the Ace of Wands, sorry, the Knight of Wands. So I do feel like there's still an, an energy of having to go and get this tree. And here we go. The end. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's still a rebirth energy that has to happen, okay, with this person. They actually do have to fully end something and really, like, dig it up by the roots. And only then, I would assume, can, you know, um, this person be at their highest vibe and a new beginning with the Empress energy. So that is the message. I thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, please do thumbs up. It really helps the channel.